Okay, this is Mario with my Microflight, and uh, this is the Artillery X3 Pro machine that I did a, a really long video uh, a little while ago. I decided to print uh, one of the parts that come uh, with the machine. This is a little box that is supposed to fit underneath here. This is the box that was supplied with the machine. It's a 3D printed box, but uh, this tab was broken. It was right along there, so I decided to print. The, the, the Luckily, they give you the file, so I decided to print that in this uh, material here. This is a uh, PLA. And uh, I started this with uh, a sort of a weird uh, base here. I wasn't sure if this was uh, going to be uh, Part of the design or if this was going to be just a brim for the uh, supports here and eventually turn out to be just a, uh, a brim actually you know for the, for the supports that is required you know to um, support these tabs here and hopefully this will be a, a little bit stronger than the one that they provide you with the machine anyway I had to tape this here because it was lifting and um, but eventually it um, it printed uh, it, it uh, was able to print uh, just fine. The resolution here, I believe it's a, uh, I believe this resolution is a very low, maybe under 0.2 because uh, it's very, very fine. This print uh, at um, uh, 400 uh, times uh, uh, speed, it took about 47, uh, 48 minutes to print. And you can see the, uh, I'm trying to fill this, film this with one hand and I'm going to try to remove the, the supports here. But it's coming out fairly easy. If I had two hands uh, free, I would, uh, it would be a lot easier here. But anyway, so that's my little box there for the, I guess it's for the, uh, for like filament that gets um, that gets trapped in the um, through this uh, cleaner here this this is, is supposed to clean and it's got this tab and I guess the idea here is I don't see any 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 filament here it's done a, a couple of cleaning um, cycles here but I don't see any filament there so I guess it's supposed to be um, uh, it, it closes this because that the the, uh, the table the, the surface here touches that and then it does the, the nozzle does a, a left and right type of a cycle but I don't see this machine returning back you know to uh, dump anything here in this uh, in this uh, little box here container which I believe that's why it's there because I think it goes all the way here boom and it probably just drops it there but um, but I don't I don't see that happening actually when when it goes to when 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 the table comes in contact with the with the nozzle here this is already over the uh, uh over this little tray here but i don't see any foam in there so i don't know if it uh the head is um it's super clean or it's retracting you know to the point where, where it doesn't need uh uh to be clean but just thought i mentioned that uh this is um this is one of the things that i i dislike about these types of uh surfaces here is the fact that um you know unless you're really really close to the surface you don't you you sometimes you get uh, the parts lifting you know from the, uh, the the surface and to me the best surface is uh, is a glass table and just from experience of having that um, having glass tables on my Anycubic i3 megas uh, I think that that was one of the first machines that was implementing glass tables you know with their um, proprietary uh, glass uh, surfaces and then uh, I believe uh, Creality CR10 when uh, they um, uh, they did their later machines you know they started implementing some of that and then after that I, I guess some other manufacturers caught on but uh, you know this uh, you know I'm surprised that this machine being uh, being the uh, the level of machine that I think it aims to be you know they included these magnetic uh, trays I don't like magnetic trays Yes, I do understand that this is uh, great for, you know, for bending this and getting the, the parts out of it. But, you know, Anycubic really nailed it with their, with their, uh, um, with, with their uh, 
glass uh, tables, which they call them uh, the ultra base. I mean, this right here, when that cools off, the parts just come out super, super easy. And so I don't know why they didn't do that on, on this machine here. Uh, like I said, being the type of machine that it, I think it aims to be. I mean, it's a nice machine. It's got uh, some, uh, some very nice aesthetical uh, uh, features, uh, color. Um, but it's, it's not, it's not, you know, it, it, there, there's, it's not totally satisfying, you know, to, to me. And I mentioned some of those things in my uh, other video. But I, I will reiterate that again. And uh, one of the things, like I said, well, the, the bed definitely is, is my, um, is, is my uh, you know, one of the things that I, I wish they would, uh, it would have a, a glass bed. The other thing is that I wish this control right here, uh, it's a great control. It's a nice, uh, it's got some nice features. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of menus that you can, uh, that you can access uh, uh, things and you can play around with. Uh, the, the, the best part of this is the, um, um, when you go and print, and you have uh, your files. This is arranged as, as in folders, and you click on the folder, and it gives you an image of the, the color image of the actual uh, uh, design. You know the, the, that's on that file, which is great. And this is something that I commented uh, on one of my uh, early posts when the uh, Anycubica first came out. It's like you know what? I, this is a great little uh, machine with a front panel. Uh, you know, angle at the, at the, at the right uh, angle, uh, nice and clean. I said, you know, I just wish that this one would have, you know, just a, a nice uh, image of the file so that you can easily tell, you know, what you would, you know, just a visual indication of what you want, you want to print. So they have it here, which is really nice. But what I don't like about this is this is a separate thing. Not you, you have first of all, you have this this thing here, which is plastic. Uh, you know, you drop something, you hit the something, uh, uh, this area hard, it's going to break. The other thing is that, you know, these connectors here, I don't care for the connectors like this. Uh, this is almost like a telephone uh, cable, you know, a telephone connector. That's that's what exactly what this is that they've implemented into this machine. And I guess uh, I, I guess people like to play with these things, you know, bring, you know, why, why do that? You know, you, you don't need to do that. Just put the, put the thing right there. Just like the Anycubic has, you know, you know, make this, make this. They have the base, they have the, the you know, a similar base as the Anycubic has, except it's thinner. Now you could just increase this a little bit in height, or, or you know, just put the, put the panel right there, you know, on, 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 on as part of the base, nice and clean, no front uh, access uh, connections like this because. You know, it's it's uh this is also d distracting, but I guess you could move this on the side, and still have you know your your panel there, which would be much much better. Keep this sep keep keep this is is um is um integral to the to the base, and then you don't have to worry about all these connections here and all these brackets. You know, this right here, I don't know where they came up with with this. Who came up with this idea of putting this this thing on the side? It's it's um, to me it's it's a uh, uh, you know it's just another another um, thing that can get broken or can, that can get damaged you know by having this on, on the side you know you, you put enough weight here it's, it's going to crack so to me the anacubic beats all these machines from the from the standpoint of the of the base and the, just the structure of, of the, the machine it's just so so you know it's unfortunate that anacubic they stopped making you know the, uh, machines with that base and they went back to the you know extrusion type of open up architecture which is kind of ugly Okay, open architecture. They're ugly machines. You know, I mean, look at look at this machine um, uh, from the enclosure. You know, everything is enclosed. The power supply is underneath. All the electronics underneath. They could have easily put this right here. Uh, that that, um, uh, that displayed. You know, right right here. If they would have just made this a little bit higher and just angled it. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's just something that, that bothers me bothers me greatly. I mean here's here's another machine that I have This is a, a mono price uh, uh, mini uh, That I that I bought because I got this um, Fairly inexpensive and it's one of the, my machines that I use for prototyping uh, My any are more for production, you know for for running real parts and, and you know that I sell with my products This was just for quick prototyping But you can see um the machine is open architecture, the power supplies underneath, all these cables are, you know, in the open. 
you have cables like this. I mean, it's uh, very, very distracting. Although this machine is actually printing um, quite well after I modify the, the table. Um, that plastic uh, sheet that comes with these tables with the magnetic uh, uh, metal removable plates, those, th th that's pretty much garbage. You know, it, it wears out, it, 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 uh, it, um, it deforms, and then uh, when you start scraping parts, it, it doesn't hold up. It's much better. You know, I put this phenolic uh, sheet here, which almost, it's almost like a fiberglass sheet, but this is paper base with, a, with an epoxy. Um, a thin sheet right over the, the metallic um, uh, plate. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even glue it because I just used the existing uh, adhesive that, that remained on the on the plate and just popped it right there. And look at that! It, it prints every single part is the same. It, it's very consistent now with the, with this weather. Before with that plastic sheet that it had, I wasn't getting good parts. Now now this machine is much better. You know, just with that upgrade here. But it's still an ugly machine. You know, I, even though it does have this feature right here, which is very similar to the Anycubics. You know, with the, with the display right there, where, where I believe every 3D printer should be, every 3D printer should have right here. You know, the why change something that that, that 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 works? You know, don't 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 fix it if it's not broken. Uh, type of mentality. And so this machine kind of follows that ar that architecture. Wants to be that 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 type of machine, but it's open. You know, they, this is a separate piece. Even even this is a lot better because this is a this is a metal plate that's attached to this. Uh, this machine so if you know if you put pressure here it's not it's not gonna give it's not gonna break so with respect to this uh, artillery you know this is this is sitting on a yeah it's it's a metallic uh it's uh, they, they embedded a, a magnet under this is but this is plastic uh, you know it's uh, it, it's it, it bothers me it bothers me uh and in and, and i i mean when i got the machine I, I i knew that i would i would have to deal with that but i was hoping that uh um I was hoping that this machine would be, uh, um, you know, it's hard to tell from photos, you know, what, what you're getting sometimes. I was hoping that this machine would have a, a glass table. Uh, I didn't read, uh, you know, uh, too well the, the, uh, the details. Uh, but I really like what, what caught my interest with this machine is that, um, like I said, it has this enclosure here, very similar to the Anycubic. I, I know, I, you know, it doesn't have the, the, the display in the front, which I would love this machine to have. Um, but I also like the, the fact that this machine is very clean in the um, in the mechanics here and in the cable system. So they're using these uh, ribbon cables. I mean, some people may may not like that, but I think that's um, I, I think that's at least a uh, uh, direction in the, in the in the right way because uh, or, or uh, I think this this company is heading in the right direction with these uh, cables here. I don't know how well these will um, last because. In the bag that they give you with uh, all these other accessories, I received an ex extra cable. So I guess they're assuming that uh, this is going to break at some point. That's why they give you the second, you know, uh, a spare cable. So I don't know how well that's going to par uh, be, be uh, in the long run. But I do like the fact that it's clean. You know, it's a clean, clean machine. These are injection molded parts, as I mentioned in my other video, which I really like. Uh, the um, spool holder is also an injection molded part. Um, this is a nice, uh, it's a nice sensor here. It's got an LED, green LED, to let you know that, it, uh, the, that the sensor is working and that there's filament through there. When this runs out, it turns red to let you know that it's, uh, you know, it's out. Um, I mean, physically, you'll know that it's out. You know, if you, if you don't have a, the the filament through there, but it's a nice, nice little touch there. Uh, the um, what else can I say? The uh, I don't I don't know about this this particular single track here. If you look at the Anycubics, you know the Anycubics are they have two of these rods right here, boom, running, and they spread they spread the the, the load and the geometry is better than than just a a, 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 a narrow track. Because when you have a narrow narrow track, you know, unless you have a, a plate that's sitting on on top of that that's really thick and some gonna flex you know the risk of flexing it and getting uneven surfaces is more um, prominent with a, with a narrow track than spreading you know the that uh, the, the track as uh, uh, and these uh, any cubics are done you know with these two rods right here they're wider so they're spreading the the support there same thing here even in this cheaper machine you have 
you have you're spreading the uh, you're, you're spreading you know the support you know on a much wider base here as opposed to this machine which is just using the is using the same extrusion here in the center and if we look at the bottom you know uh, you have this this you you have quite a bit of a, a geometry here quite a bit of area here on each side it's kind of just uh, uh balancing itself on this on this narrow track so i don't know how well that's going to be i believe this plate i believe that's why they're doing these plates uh sort of a as a frame it's just to make it a little more rigid you know and uh be able to uh be able to uh work with this uh, narrow track but uh you know we'll see how how also that uh lasts and and, and works out but anyway this is the part that i printed it it came out pretty pretty decent i don't see any any issues you know with the uh, with the layering um and i printed like i said at 400 uh, times uh, the uh the, the original uh startup uh speed uh i i i couldn't tell you know what um you know how many millimeters per second but i guess i could figure that out in my next run so i don't think this machine tells you, you know how many millimeters per second you're you're uh, you're, you're going uh, it's got a lot of features i wish that it would had have, have that plus uh i wish this would also give you the the layer you know what layer you're you're, you're printing layer one layer two three so on and so forth but instead it gives you a percentage you know the 10 percent down 20 percent down i guess we could figure the layering also you know if we know the percentage and you know what what distance you're you're printing the layers at but you know some of the some of the uh the things that i wish this this machine would have it's not major the more major things are you know this this in my opinion should have a glass table and this machine would be excellent if the base would be like the anacubic with this embedded into the front panel here nice and clean have have these these um he have the the access to the uh uh to the sd card on the side of the machine not on top you know some machines have you know the the, the sticks you know the the, the cards go, go on top you know that's that's a uh a, a risk a factor you know to uh, that where the uh, those items could could break you know in case you 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 happen to you know just move your hand uh, hard or you, you happen to uh, bump into it uh, same thing with this you know with this right here so i don't i don't i don't i don't trust this i don't i don't like this being on the side um you know it takes it takes a lot away from the machine that i mean just look at this nice and clean if i was making a machine if I was manufacturing a machine, I would take the, the same architecture as the Anticubic, which kind of this this kind of is similar in a sense, and put the, this control right here, keep it nice and clean. Don't don't just let this you know don't just make a bracket for this. Keep it. You know, continue the, the geometry of the base and just pop that in there. All these electrons will be inside, just like the Anticubic. Uh, you know, uh, I3 Megas have it. And uh, and that way that's clean. You don't have any obstructions. You're not you know you're not adding to the to the uh, to the footprint required. I mean it's kind of silly to have this stupid thing sticking out uh, on on the side here. Uh, and um, I guess it I guess it's okay you know if, if you have a, a narrow table because this is just attached to this and it's just floating. But then you know you have this thing sticking out. It's 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 like a sore thumb. It's 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 an ugly sore thumb. If any manufacturer that's making these machines thinks that this is a uh, this is cool, it's not. I'm sorry to tell you that. Uh, I, you know, I mean, it's compared to the to, to a nice, clean, uh, angle uh, front panel there where that's embedded in there. It's nice and clean. So that's the way I would be making my machines here and put a glass, put a glass surface like like the Anticubic has. Keep the rest of the 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 the, um, the aesthetics of this clean. Now, that I like. I like that it's direct drive. Um, this on top of the machine, you know, from a, from a uh, functional standpoint, I guess it has to be there because the, 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 this has to come in through here. But even this, I would I would not put it on top of here. I would I would try to find some other way to hide this so that it doesn't take away from the machine. You know, yeah, this I mean, a nice machine should be just the machine should be the printer, and this this could be a, a separate. You know, the the way I the way I do my my any cubics, you know, I have. I still use the, the 
the spool holders there, I spray with the, the, the NQ, but I put those in the back. You know, it doesn't need to be on top of the machine. And the same thing with the direct drive, you know, you can feed that and just bring the, just bring the cable so there's not too, uh, to, uh, it doesn't take too much room on the, on the height or, or on the sides. You know, you can put that height down in the back like I'm doing it. Uh, I mean, there are, you know, there are ways to, to get around this, this right here, which I don't, I don't care for, for spools like that. So that's, that's another distracting feature of these machines. Uh, maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I, I sound a little crazy, you know, talking about these things, but you know it it just i just have not found the machine uh, beyond the uh any uv guy through megas the a modern machine that has a little more you know more more uh, connectivity more more features you know this feature of you know my any cubes would have I, I would not be looking for these machines here or, or something better the reason i bought this machine is because it's got a little bit bigger footprint because i'm going to be printing some parts and i require the height I was going to modify one of my anti-cubics to do that, and I may just do that. You know, just take the machine and make it wider. Um, you know, with with some uh, uh, with some uh, very similar uh, materials that the anti-cubic uses. You know, this is this is a one-piece steel. I think this steel uh, frame here. I mean, to to make this uh, larger, all I would have to do is just cut it, cut it in half, basically. Um, uh, put a put a put a spacer uh, type of clipper. Same thing as this. I would manufacture something very similar to this. Uh, elongate these um, uh, rods as well as the uh, the, the lead screws, uh, for, both for the the Z and the and the X axis, um, as well as maybe the uh, the, the the Y. I, I probably would leave the Y the, the way it is, uh, as long as I would have a, a wider footprint and a taller footprint. I think that would that would. Uh, um, that would be sufficient uh, for a machine that uh, could be considered, you know, a step up from this uh, anti-cubic uh, i3 Mega in the same architecture, in the same style, you know, with the, with the same clean look. I mean, look, you know, the, <laughs> look, look at this machine. I mean, I mean, you can't beat this. You cannot beat. You cannot beat this. You want to clean it? You clean it. You, Entry points of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the the SD card or the, uh, the the USB on the side away, you know, because you don't use that 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 often. You know, you bring your card on the side; it's out of the way. There's no risk of breaking this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not in the way. It's kind of hidden. So it, you know, I can't say enough about this machine. So that's what I would do if I was manufacturing these machines. You know, um, uh, you know, I I would probably blow away all all these machines because. Uh, a lot of these machines, they 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 they're almost there, in my opinion, but they're not quite. You know, they, they, I mean, they give you, they 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 try to give you that 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 uh, those those features that I think would be uh would be ideal for uh for a machine that they could serve all all uh, all uh, all purposes, all customers. Um, but nobody uh, up to this point has come up with that, that particular machine, and I'm I'm basically. Uh, writing down the specifications as, as I talk about these machines, I mean, I'm, I'm saying what what, <laughs> what a great machine would uh, would be. Um, now, some people like Core XYs. You know, that's an enclosed machine. I, I designed my own Core, Core XYs. You can go see my my Core XY and my uh, other machine that I did, which is a which is a work in progress. I I mean, I could I could take one of those machines and just uh, and just uh, and just do it, but uh, I don't have the I, I don't have the I don't have the energy, you know, to uh, to go into full production with any of those machines. I, otherwise, I would. Um, I don't have the energy. I don't have the the years that I that I wish I had to do those machines. And that's why, you know, I do those machines for myself. But I wish somebody would just be listening to uh, to what I'm saying here and come up with a freaking great machine that has all these features for the for the re for the logical reasons that I'm explaining in some of these videos here. Um, you know what else can I say? So I hope somebody's listening out there. This is Mario with MIA Microflight. This machine is, you know, it's it's kind of okay. You know, from 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 the perspective that I I've been talking about, you may like this machine and may serve your purpose. You may not care about the, some of the features that that I mentioned. Uh, it does print uh, very nice. You know the layers. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens uh, when I print. You know a full tall. Um, car for one of my uh, trains that I'm that I'm building 
uh, and and see what happens. You know, uh, once we, we start getting you know to to uh, a little more complex uh, geometry and and parts, um, it does seem to have the <clears throat> uh, the the speed uh, that uh, that I was looking for. It's not really really that high uh, of speed and uh, I mean even though you you can crank this uh, you know uh, much higher than I was running this but I think if you start cranking it too much it's going to uh, uh, the the layers are not going to be uh, as clean this is uh, this is fairly clean here it's got a little bit of ridges here and there but um, I would say it's fairly clean for a machine of this uh, this this price uh, tag you know this is a two hundred twenty dollar machine um, you know, but uh, there are some very nice machines, you know, that uh, that you can buy for for twenty two hundred dollars uh, that that, uh, that would would compete with this machine. Not in terms of the the aesthetics. I mean, that's what attracted me to this machine. That's why I bought it. Uh, similar features, like I said, the base. I like that. That I really like the base enclosed. Not this particular base, but at least they enclose, you know, the electronics. Great. Now take it to the next level. Put that in and, and, and I keep saying this because I really want that machine you know I wish this this one would have that that would you know if, if this machine would have this embedded similar to the Anacubic i3 man I, I, I'd be in love this, with this machine this would be my next Anacubic i3 Mega in my, in my perspective um, and I know there are probably people that are you know they, they, they probably don't have the same opinion or probably uh, you know they they probably have their own uh, favorite uh, machines for whatever pur purpose they they're using their machines uh you know you know I, granted that nobody is doing the same type of work you know yeah i, I mean i i do uh, i do certain type of uh, parts here some some people do it for fun some some of the other some either uh some other people you know they build um huge huge structures you know the for uh, cosplay uh costumes and uh, items uh, you know i build precision Parts, miniature parts that need to be fit precisely, but I also need the height. Also, now that I'm uh, getting a little more in, uh, into uh, into structures, you know, taller structures. So I, now I need the height, but also need first and foremost the precision. That re, uh, the machine's got to be precise. It's got to be able to repeat, and it's got to be consistent, and it's got to have uh, durability uh, for for longevity. My AnyCubic i3 Megas have surpassed. Have have answered that and and sur have met all those all those goals and, and uh, surpassed that in in my opinion, and that's why I am I am I am so so pro uh, i3 megas even at the stage where nobody's probably uh, giving them a, a hoot, you know. So uh, yeah, that that's my uh, that's my point of view. Mario, with my microflight. Thanks for watching.